Hi. In this uh, C Sharp tutorial, we'll be going over some more concepts that we learned in the previous uh, tutorials. So in this one, uh, we'll be doing the lab, basically just working with some of the con concepts that we recently talked about. Uh, so this is this is uh, like fields. Let's just see what else we're going to do. So we have uh, fields, picture boxes, oh, let's see what else we have. So we'll have, so we'll have, a, so we'll practice this, the constant fields using the C-O-N-S-T uh, keyword. So we'll have some constant fields. <coughs> Some with private, so we'll be working with uh, the private keyword. Uh, we'll have a. Uh, I don't think we'll have any local fields, uh, but then we'll have some calculations. We'll use a two string and a formatting string. And that's it. So it sh shouldn't take that long, so I've already started with the first one. So all you have to do is you have to, if you don't have it already, I'm using, uh, well, I'm using Rider. It seems to be faster than Visual Studio. Uh, so you can download Rider from JetBrains and use it for free if you have a student email. If you don't uh, have a student email, you can try to borrow someone's student email or you can uh, download. There's a trial, I think, maybe a month or a few months. Uh, so first of all, what I did is if you don't have a picture box, you'll have to click on Manage Components. Uh, so then you'll have to click .NET Default. If it's not already selected, you'll have to go down to P and then select Picture Box. Actually, sorry, so you have to... So first you have to find systems.windows.forms, expand or collapse, whatever that button to get the rest of the checkboxes. So then uh, scroll down to P. Then select picture box. If it's not already selected, if it is already selected, you can just hit cancel. If it's not already selected, you can select it by clicking the check checkbox and then clicking the apply button. So already have it selected, so I'm not going to click apply again. So then it's just normal. You just uh, go back to your toolbox, designer toolbox, find systems dot or system dot windows dot forms. Take or click on picture box, double click it, and then click uh, then click wherever you want it to be displayed. I'll just put it something like this. So we're just going to have like four picture boxes here. Actually, we'll have a label here at the top. So label here at the top, another label here, another label here, and a button. So four picture boxes, three labels, and one button at the bottom. So, already, so you have to download some coins from the internet if you want to do this. I uh, probably won't include this in a... <coughs> Excuse me. I probably won't include this in... Uh, what's it called? GitHub. You can just go to Google or whatever. Bing or just go to the internet. And you can find... a. You can just find any any coins online. Just type in nickel, dime, quarter, and fifty cent coin. I guess it, well, I'm just gonna, I'm doing it from the the examples from the United States. So I'm just going to choose a United States example. So I have a nickel. Then I'm going to click this button here at the top. Since I already once you already have the images downloaded to your computer. Then you can click the picture box tasks or whatever uh, by clicking in the top right corner. You could probably do it from here as well. Uh, 
I'm going to choose zoom as the size mode. I'm going to go with choose image. Then I'm going to select the dime. Hit OK. And then we have our dime there. So then we'll do the same thing for the rest of the coins. If I, if I remember, I'll try to upload these to a GitHub and the pictures and then include a link. But you really can just go to your internet browser and just type some, look for the pictures and they're all sized up normally. You don't need to worry about that because you can choose the scaling to make it fit. So any pictures will work. I think these are PNG uh, photos or types of files. So then here I'll just click the top right button there, select zoom, uh, choose image, import, not sure if you can see that, then I'll select the quarter, hit OK. Then for the last one I'll do the same thing. I didn't know the United States had a 50 cent coin, or is that just an old thing? I'm not sure. In Canada, we don't have that. So, uh, so import, I'm not sure if you can see that, but you have to click import after you uh, click choose image. I'll choose the 50 cent coin. Hit OK. So there you go. Uh, we have our four coins, which will basically be used as buttons. Okay, so what else we have? We're just going to need, we're going to need three labels. So I'll put one there. Actually, before that, okay, that's going to come up. So we'll just put one here too. So for this, we'll just go with the name first. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's starting to get dusty outside. The pollen and stuff. Okay, so we have... Uh, we'll change this to instruction label. Then we'll change the auto size to uh, true. Then we'll change the I forgot what we're going to change. Okay, so we'll change the, the font. Actually, not the font, but we'll change the size. Oh, okay, that, that's not what I wanted. Uh, okay, what happened there? I just clicked Control Z, it seemed to fix it. Uh, what happened to our other one? Okay, let's let's try that again. Uh, I think maybe it tried to make it too big and it pushed the pictures away or something. So auto size is true. I'll just go with something maybe like that. 14 or something. No, maybe that's too small. Uh, let's see. Let's go with 24. That should be fine. Uh, so we'll just go with that. The text will change to uh, 
click the click the coins or whatever click coins oh whoops sorry I, that was the form we'll just change that to coins then I'll click label one then I'll click the text property then I'll just type in click coins Okay, so for label two, we'll change the name to total. Actually, sorry. Output description label. I'll hit enter and then I'll click the font. Actually, I'll change auto size to true. Same thing, font to Whatever we had, 24. We'll go with text is just total. Or total amount, whatever. And then we'll uh, go with one more label. We had one, I think it disappeared when I hit control Z. Uh, so we'll just go with one more label here, change the name to total label. Auto size to true. Font to 24. Actually, I don't think that says 24. Uh, 24 there. Okay, so then we'll change the text to basically just a space. And then we'll probably put some, actually, auto sizes true, so we'll then maybe put a border style. Fix angle is fine so we can see the outline. Click coins, we could maybe just make that just a tiny bit bigger. That's fine, we don't want it to get pushed away, so that's okay. So we'll just, uh, oh yeah, so we have just one more thing. We'll just go with button. We'll go with uh, exit button for the name. Auto size, we'll change it to true. Font, we'll go with just a bit bigger. And then text, we'll go with uh, exit or close. That should be all. Uh, we could make this just, uh, actually, don't think we'll, we'll let me do that now, but that's okay. So we'll just, that should be fine. Actually, maybe we'll just try to make that one, the text box, a bit bigger. There we go, that should be fine. Okay, so that's the click coins uh, GUI. This is from the last, so if I click the code, uh, this is the from the last video, so we'll just delete some of this stuff. This is just a method I made to explain the notes. Uh, so we have, we're just a lecture kind of thing, so we have this. We have, where did that go? Okay, so we have that. We have our using statements here, already set up, namespace, public card, partial class, form one inherits from form with the public form one constructor calling initialized component. So we'll talk about initialized component coming up after we finish. Uh, so we're going to go through conditional statements, the rest of the types, loops, 
after we've done all the normal C sharp stuff that so we're gonna go back to just C sharp without GUI. Or a few GUI examples here and there. But mostly just the core C sharp uh, like the language basics of that. Then we'll probably come back and talk about this stuff and more of the back end code and how to set up those objects when we talk about objects and stuff. So we still got a bit to do. So here we'll move on to the code now. You know what, I actually don't think I named those picture boxes, so let's just go back for a sec, sorry. So let's just go back for a sec and just give these some names. So I'll click that. Picture box one, I'll change it to five uh, cent picture box or pick box, whatever. Then I'll click the dime. I'll go with a uh, 10 cent picture box or pick box. I'll click the quarter, do the same thing. Twenty five with camel case, uh, then sent pick box. And I'll go with a uh, fifty cent pick box. Now, so now we have that, that should be fine. We'll continue with the notes. So we have all the GUIs, uh, the GUI element set up without any actual event handler. So if you click these things, nothing happened. You can run this and and stuff. You can enter some something into the. What was that supposed to be? No, that's that's fine. That's just a label, but you can click these and nothing is going to update. So now we can set up the code. Uh, so first we'll set up uh, the fields. So you have to click the code editor, or you can just click down here if you're using Rider. There's two buttons here, two tabs. Okay, so we'll have to create some fields. So, we'll, so here, uh, namespace under the so you create you don't want to put anything here so if we do that we'll probably get an error not sure if it's letting me actually move those down okay it seems to be glitching out actually or is it just uh, lagging here keyboard English Canada okay US keyboard Okay, there we go. So we had some glitching out here. I notice it does that sometimes. You want to type something, it doesn't type anything. Very rarely. It could be my computer. It didn't have any lag though, so I'm not sure what that was. Okay, so anyways, if we just try to declare that here, we might get an error. So let me just try that. You might be able to declare something here. Okay, so it actually didn't take that as an error, but that's not what we're going to do. We're just going to stick with the normal syntax. So we're going to put the fields here under par public partial class form one. So we'll say that these are uh, the constant fields.
which are basically just global variables. I'm not sure if C, I don't think C sharp actually refers to them as global variables, but we know that constant fields basically just mean global variables, which means they can be accessed from anywhere in the, uh, they can be accessed by, whoops, sorry, I said the mic box in. They can be accessed by anything, basically anything in the file. Uh, you can also be access. It can also be accessible by things outside the file, because we didn't tag it as a private. Now, if we tag it as a private, it can only be accessed by everything in this class only. Uh, it's now if we just go with CONST. I'm not sure if. Uh, sometimes the compiler changes it to private, so maybe we should put a public here. So go with that. I don't think there's any errors. It's just warnings here, no actual errors, so that's fine. I think if you if you don't uh, once again if you don't tag on public here, the compiler will just think of it as private. So it's better to either assert it public or private. In this case, my notes didn't put private, but they put private for other stuff, so I'll just tag them on with public which means it could be accessible from another file, so just be careful. You could do that by referencing the file name. Uh, we'll do that later on, but you should just be able to reference the file name. Sorry, the, the class. Uh, perhaps the namespace and then uh, should be class and then just use a dot operator. We'll do that later on Usually don't want to do that too much. It can cause problems uh, You can like other you want to make them private if you if you can and use methods to kind of Do that, but if you really need to you can do it We'll talk about that later on So we'll just do the same for the rest of the coins So I've taken uh, so the take, I've taken the S off the cent, so we just need five cent val or ten cent val. And then we have so remember if we're using decimal, we need to format them actually out of a hundred. So in this case, we want zero point zero five, which means five. Zero point five means fifty, and five point zero means like five hundred basically. Uh, so then we have and M to denote that it's a decimal in C-sharp, so don't forget that. Can, kind of confusing, but uh, just remember that so that we'll do the rest. Public C-O-N-S-T decimal 25 cent fell. And we're using uh, capitals once again to denote that it's a constant. You don't need to, but you should. Go with 0 0.25 M. And here we'll say public C O N S T decimal uh, fifty cent val points to zero point fifty M. Then we can have one private uh, another we can have another uh, field here, so we're gonna say that we want a field. We don't need capital, so we just want a field uh, variable to hold the total. Uh, we can say initialize to zero. So we'll have a private here, private decimal total points to zero m. You could probably do 0 0.00m too. But that's fine. So we'll just go with 0m to start.
perhaps this is the best way to use zero uh, for a decimal is just 0m instead of 0.00m. That's pretty much the uh, half of it. Then we have we have to do the same thing four times. So then we'll click the five cent uh, picture box, which is this one here. I'll double click it to generate the the uh, definition of the the handler, basically the event handler. We'll we'll be coding this all from scratch after, so don't worry. So we'll have We'll just put in some code here for the event handler. So we're going to add the value of five cents to the total. So we'll say total plus equals five cent val. Then we'll say the total label dot text points to total dot two string. And we'll pass in the form string to form the currency. Whoops, what happened there? So here we're saying, okay, well, we want the total label dot text to point to the the total, which is going to be dot two string since the total is set to a number which is a decimal currently. Well, before this line, and we're saying, okay, well, the total label dot text. Which is this the this one here? This one underneath total amount, this kind of text box looking thing, but it's actually a label. So the the labels text will be set to the total variable, which is we're gonna uh, set it to a two string or call the two string method, and pass in the formatting string C to make sure that it's formatted as a currency. So that's it basically just doing that uh, four times so we'll click the dime uh, picture I'll comment out the exception so we'll say total points or sorry total plus equals total plus uh, points to 10 Sent val. Then I'll say total label again. So total label uh, dot text points to the total dot. Oops, need a capital here. So total label dot text points to the total dot the total variable dot two string. Passing in C for the formatting string. And then just two more, and we're almost done. Anyway, I guess we have to do the exit button, which is just one line, so he will just code, uh, comment that one out. We'll say total points to, or sorry, total plus points to 25 cent foul. I'll just select that from the IntelliSense. Then we'll go uh, total label dot text points to total dot two string. Oops, I'm typing Java here. Total dot two string with the C passed in. So this is exactly like Java, except dot text is uh, capital and two string is the T in two string is capital. Uh, and the formatting string might be a bit different. Otherwise, uh, it's it's almost exactly like Java. I think Microsoft liked the Java syntax, so they decided to create something that was similar that everyone kind of was using back then. Because if you look at the Java FX event handlers, this right here is almost exactly the same. Because they call it's all they usually call object or event args, so it's very similar. Or event, so it's very very similar. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that later on. 
So we'll just go with the designer and then double click the 50 cent uh, coin. Comment that line out. So we'll say total, whoops, total plus equals to 50 cent val. Then we'll say total label dot text points to total dot to string with the C passed in and quotes and that should be all. Then we'll have uh, the exit button so we'll just double click that. We'll just say this dot close. So remember this references the form. And close has a capital C. So we'll just save that. Save all. It should work. I'll include the I'll include the GUI at the end, but I'll just run it just to see how it works. It's just compiling, just uh, still, is there an error here? No? What happened there? Okay, yeah, so it did work. Uh, I'm just checking what happens here. Okay, yeah, so it does work. Alright, so in one sec, I'll show you guys how the GUI looks.